Our first item is consideration to approve a public art master plan as an appendix to the Conway Comprehensive Plan. That was tabled from the last meeting in order to give commissioners more time to be more informed and to read the plan. Are there any? So just in case you all don't know too much about the plan, I'll give you a very brief overview of it. Um, so it is being considered for adoption as an appendix of the comprehensive plan and it was created over an 11th month period uh, between the city and Amanda Golden, who's with Designing Local, which is a firm based out of Columbus, Ohio. So kind of the reason behind doing this plan in the first place is that there was no really guiding cohesive strategy for public art within the city. Uh, so this was something that we had decided to um, undertake. And um, so what we did here was we created this um, document and then there's also an appendix, uh, which is a policy document that kind of details a little more about the specifics of the plan. Uh, so throughout the process, uh, there was a lot of public engagement. We put together a steering committee and we also worked with the uh, Conway Public Art Advisory Committee, um, who's one of the uh, city committees here. So they also had a lot of input on this and uh, we took feedback from them. We had stakeholder interviews uh, and then uh, Amanda held virtual workshops um, throughout this process, so we also got feedback from residents of the city. Uh, so that was something that was very stressed uh, throughout the whole process, was making sure that we got a lot of um, engagement from the public. Uh, so the plan uh, is talking uh, specifically about what we want to do in the future with public art. Um, so. Throughout there, uh, it discusses some different ways that art can be activated in the city. Um, and so if you've read through the plan, you'll see that there's a number of different strategies that can be taken. Some of these are more short term and then some of them are more long term strategies. So one of the first big things that we're hoping to do is to redefine the role of the Public Art Advisory Committee, because right now it's kind of vague and a little bit broad as to what their scope is. So that's going to be the first thing is um, creating a new ordinance to kind of more narrowly define their role. Uh, so then we're also going to be uh, creating an interdepartmental committee between various city departments, such as the planning department, transportation, the mayor's office, physical plant, just to get everybody together and make sure that the city is on the same page as we move forward with these more uh, major public art projects. Um, so then uh, like I said, there's also another policy document that's an appendix to this that kind of discusses more things about collection management and things like how does the city acquire a new piece of art? What does that process look like? How do we select an artist and things like that? So you'll find more information about the kind of specifics in there. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so the, at the very back of the public art master plan, there is kind of this little chart that shows you what are the short-term steps, what are kind of the medium-term steps, and what are the more long-term uh, things to get this implemented. So that's kind of the cool thing about it is that it doesn't all necessarily have to be implemented in one single you know, piece. It can kind of be little things that we do along the way to kind of get the ball rolling. Um, so yeah, did you all have any questions about the plan or, or anything in particular? Have any questions but would you introduce yourself tell us who you are and why you're speaking on behalf of this project oh sure so i am kyle kelly on the long range planner with the city of conway and um, i'm here tonight because james could not be here he's out of town so i'm speaking about the plan uh, on behalf of him thank you so thank you remind us of the mission of the art project so I would say the big thing here is that we really just want to create this kind of cohesive strategy because right now there really is no plan in place. Say when the city wants to put in a new mural or a sculpture or something like that, there's no kind of guiding document as to how we're going to go about that or how we're going to determine, you know, what type of art we want in the city. So that's really the whole purpose of this plan is to say, you know, this is what we're looking for as a city and this is why public art is important and why we should continue to invest in public art. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions for Kyle? <coughs> Thank you, Kyle. Okay. Are we to take public comment at this time? Okay, so is there anyone who wants to speak? 
in favor of this uh, public art project. Anyone to speak in opposition of the public art master plan? Okay. We will bring it back into commission. Any questions, any discussion? I've got a question. So just from a planning commission perspective, what kind of motion are we looking for? Okay, I'll, if, if, is there any other discussion we have? No other discussion, we'll entertain a motion. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve the public art master plan. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Okay, the motion passes.